Hi everyone, in this video we're going to convert the TensorFlow model which we developed and trained in a Python environment into the TensorFlow.js format so that we can use it in JavaScript. If you haven't watched the first part and want to train the model yourself, do that first. But I've also linked the code in the description where you can get the trained model along with everything else. Let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is we must install TensorFlow.js. And we can do it with this command. You should run this in your terminal. I just add them to the notebook so that you have the commands for this part of the tutorial in one place. Now I'm on a Mac M1 and for me, this doesn't work. I actually cannot install TensorFlow.js. So if you can get it to work on a Mac M1, please let me know in the comments. I have some conflicts with libraries there. So what I did instead, I ran these commands in a Google Colab notebook and then downloaded the model, which I converted in the CodeLab notebook. To see how we convert the model, we go to the TensorFlow website. And here we are in the section model conversion. And the first thing we see is that there are different formats supported. There's a saved model, that's what we have, and also a Keras model. Now, in the previous section, we saved the model as a saved model and not with the H5. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the safe model. And then we look at this and this is basically everything we need. So we specify the input format, an input path and an output path. Now, when we do this, for our case, it looks like this. So in the folder models, we have the fully convolutional model that's what we reference. And then as output, we specify this path. When we check the output folder here, we see that there are two types of files. One is a binary file and the other is a JSON file. The binary file contains the weights, whereas the JSON file contains the model topology. When we later use the model, we reference this JSON file. And how we do that, we'll see in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. See you in part three.